Yeah, if we look in the page 151 of this book, in the middle of the page, let's take a quick look at that. Uh, right there uh, at the very top of the thing it says at the same time as the outer layers are expanding into the space the star's core collapses within seconds the core's density increases so enormously that the electrons and protons which make it up are squeezed together to form neutrons now Electrons and protons squeeze together to form neutrons. Uh, why is it that when a, a neutron uh, decays, it has to do something magical uh, with pions and stuff like that? Uh, but when it, uh, when you create a neutron, you can just push an electron and a proton together and create a neutron very simplistically. And the, the thing about physics is um, things have what's called time invariance. Uh, and supposedly beta decay doesn't have time invariance. Uh, but uh, still, you know, oh, why make something complicated when a physics experiment runs one way in a movie and make it uh, simple uh, when the a physics experiment runs backwards in the movie. It just seems a little silly. Uh, it's possible this this uh, uh, author decided not to uh, bring up the quark interaction, but um, that is beta decay. Uh, but uh, because it's too complex to up subject, but to oversimplify it uh, in this manner. Uh, just irks me that the simplification is allowed somewhere in physics, but not in a, uh, a reverse uh, interaction. Anyways, this goes with my several uh, lectures on how a neutron is made up of a proton and an electron. Okay, thank you for watching this video.